The latest in a series of Pentagon embarrassments is on display at Los Angeles newsstands. Pictures in the L.A. Times of American troops posing with bodies of dead insurgents in Afghanistan two years ago, in one case with the severed legs of a suicide bomber, prompting an apology from the nation's defense chief. This is not who we are, and it's certainly not who we represent. The White House calls the incident reprehensible, and Defense Secretary Leon Panetta condemned the troops' actions as well, but stressed they're not indicative of all soldiers. This is war, and I know that war is ugly and it's violent. And I know that young people sometimes caught up in the moment uh, make some very foolish decisions. One former soldier and military analyst says they were stupid decisions, but puts the blame elsewhere. The soldiers have to be trained and led. Um, there's a leader that's supposed to be responsible to make sure those kinds of things don't happen. And in every experience that I've ever had in a unit, when there are good leaders and they're doing the right thing, uh, and uh, these kinds of things don't happen. This is just the latest in a series of blows for the military in Afghanistan. Video surfaced in January of Marines urinating on Taliban corpses. A month later, deadly protests broke out after American troops mistakenly burned Muslim holy books. And last month, a U.S. soldier allegedly killed 17 Afghan civilians. The Pentagon's fear is the Taliban will use this latest incident as propaganda, putting American troops in danger. Sagar Magani, Associated Press, Washington.